Who's that? Oh, him. He's strange. Clever. Wild. Jane Wild. Hello? Hello? Science. Arts. We all know Stephen Hawking, but we don't know about this extraordinary woman that was the fuel behind a lot of his success. I met Jane quite early on in preparation for playing her, and she was just phenomenal. When she opened the door, she was like a ray of sunshine, very open, very warm. You can't believe what she went through. It's called motor neuron disease. I want us to be together for as long as we've got, and if that's not very long, well, then that's just how it is. It'll affect everything. I was very impressed with Felicity because she came here several times and we talked a lot. I remember her just showing me all these slides. They were very personal images of her and Stephen when they were 18, dating and getting to know each other. And then I sat and talked with her and asked her questions. I know what you all think, that I don't look like a terribly strong person, but I love him and he loves me. We're going to fight this illness together. All of us. Felicity worked on her physicality. She moves differently in different parts of the film. And that was all something you know, we prepared and talked about as we were going into this. It was so important to me to, to show the depth of giving that Jane had to have, to keep supporting Stephen through force of personality and just a sheer determination to survive. They saw it like it was a fight. He has pneumonia. Stephen must live. I will see he gets everything he needs. He may not survive. Yes, he will. Felicity made a very charming change. The film was surprisingly honest about our marriage. It reflects our struggle to bring up three children, despite my disability. When I was writing the memoir, I had no idea that one day this might be turned into a film. And when I saw Felicity on the screen, I thought, oh, my goodness, that's me. Because she had captured my mannerisms. Thank you. Sorry, did you say something? I said, thank you.